Update driver. Step 1. Press Windows plus X, then click Device Manager. Step 2. Expand Xbox 360 peripherals, right-click Xbox 360 driver, and pick Update driver. Step 3. Hit Search automatically for driver, then restart your PC when the update completes. Note, if you can't update the driver via Device Manager, feel free to update it manually. Step 1. Go to Microsoft Xbox's official website. Step 2. Go to Downloads and choose the Windows you are using. Step 3. Install the driver on a Windows PC. Alternatively, Step 1. Press Windows plus X, then click Device Manager. Step 2. Expand Xbox 360 peripherals. Right-click Xbox 360 driver and pick Update driver. Step 3. Choose Browse My Computer for drivers. Select Browse and navigate to the path. C. Windows. Old System 32 odd driver. Stored file repository. Step 4. Hit OK. Pick Next and let the update run all the way. Step 5. Restart your PC. Uninstall and reinstall all drivers. Today, Windows allows users to manage drivers effectively and efficiently. Hence, once it comes to Xbox 360 controller not showing up in Device Manager, don't hesitate to uninstall and reinstall all drivers. That will let you get rid of errors that plague drivers on your PC. Still, for good measure, create a restore point so you can go back when a need arises. Update. Windows. Step 1. Go to Start. Settings, Update, and Security. Step 2. Click on Check for Updates. Step 3. If an update is available, allow Windows to download and install it. Check out Cable and Port. If you suspect that the cable is responsible for the issue, get a new cable. Get your hands on a capable replacement, use it to connect the controller to your PC, and see how things turn out. Additionally, it's worth pointing out that the USB port can also get damaged. To cross out the port as a potential cause, switch USB port, then determine whether your PC recognizes the controller. Add a device. Settings. Step 1. Open Start Menu. Then click the gear icon to open settings and select Devices. Step 2. Pick Bluetooth and other devices. Step 3. If your Xbox 360 controller is not listed, hit Add a Device, then follow the on-screen prompts to add it. Finally, restart the computer to effect the changes.